As winter ends and we start thinking of gardening, if you want to attract and support your local migratory birds in your outdoor space, keep in mind having their habitat needs, food, water, shelter, and maintaining your space in a green gardening way, in particular avoiding pesticides. You can provide food by growing trees, shrubs, and perennials that offer fruit, nuts, and seeds that are so important for many of our birds. Native species are best because they have the right nutritional value that our birds need. Um, many birds also eat insects, and many more must have insects to feed their young. In fact, many need thousands for just one clutch of eggs. So if you can keep your garden as organically minded as possible, you're not contaminating that food source and you're helping your birds. Of course, if you want to have feeders in your garden, that's great with seeds and suet. Just keep in mind that is a supplement to natural food sources. One tip about suet is if you buy the kind without preservatives, that's best. Just keep it in your freezer and pop it out when it's time to put it on the, on the line. Shelter is another very important habitat element that birds need. You can provide this with all kinds of different trees and shrubs for them to escape inclement weather, hide from predators, rest and of course rear their young. A lot of birds will do um, this along the branches, making nests along the edge of branches or the crooks of branches, but many also make holes in trunks of dead or dying trees called snags. So wherever it's possible to keep them standing where it's safe, it's best if you can do that to support our cavity nesting birds like chickadees and nuthatches. Another thing you can do for shelter is have dense vegetation that allows them to feel safe where they're nesting. Water is the third habitat element that birds need. It's important that you have water in the warmer months when it's not frozen. Um, if some people are tempted to have bird bath heaters, but that can cause problems because some birds are tempted to go in and they don't naturally need it in the wintertime anyhow. You can also have a recirculating stream or a pond with shallow edges. And remember that if you do have water in a shallow dish, it's important to change it often in the warmer months. Of course, now you've attracted birds to your garden, it's important to maintain the space in a safe way for them. So where possible, avoid pesticides so you keep them and their food sources safe. If you want to attract the Northern Cardinal to your property, uh, they're typically found in the easterly, southerly portion of Canada. Try planting some native shrubs such as dogwoods and winterberries, mulberries. They'll attract them for the food. They'll also be great for nesting. Anything dense and shrubby is a good spot for them for nesting. Uh, Northern Cardinals will also eat grasses and sedge seeds. They'll eat insects and spiders. And if you want to have them at your feeder, encourage them with black sunflower seeds. If you want to support black-capped chickadees in your property, and keep in mind they're found across most of the country, then you can have food sources for them uh, that support insects and spiders, which is what they predominantly eat. They will also eat fruit from native shrubs and they do eat seeds too. So if you want to have them at your feeder, they'll often go to the sunflower seeds and, and peanuts. For nesting purposes, they do nest in cavities in dead or dying trees, also called snags. So if you have any of those on your property, do leave them up where it's safe to do so and you'll help support a number of cavity nesting birds, including the chickadee. For red-breasted nuthatches, they're found across most of the country and they'll often be found in coniferous woods, woodland areas, but they'll also go to deciduous areas too. You can support them with food in the fact that they eat insects and spiders and they'll be gleaning them off of trees. They also eat um, seeds, coniferous seeds. So if you have a bird feeder, you can also give them sunflower seeds and uh, sometimes they come to suet as well. Cedar waxwings are found across the whole country and they will eat mainly fruit. Some insects, of course, too, but a lot of fruit. So if you can plant native fruit-bearing shrubs, then you're gonna be able to support these beautiful birds, whether it's with elderberries or hawthorns or dogwoods or service berries, uh, they'll come to your home for that. Blue jays are found across a fair portion of Canada and they eat a whole variety of food from insects and fruit and seeds. They especially love acorns. So will they definitely come, come to your property if you've got acorn uh, trees, oaks, of course. They'll also nest in a variety of mature trees. And if you want to attract them to your garden with feeders, they come to you for a variety of seeds, in particular the sunflower seeds. If you want more information on these and other ideas for supporting birds and other wildlife on your property, check out the Canadian Wildlife Federation's Gardening for Wildlife program at canadianwildlifefederation.ca 
where you'll find it out about how to certify your property as wildlife friendly habitat, get access to resources like webinars and native plant encyclopedias and other great things.